Axe Gaming here, and I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, okay, where have you been? Like, you haven't updated us on Dragon Firelight in forever. And the answer is, I had been trying forever and a day to even, like, find a nightlight to do any kind of update on this. I searched so freaking long and then finally I just stopped and I was like you know what I'm gonna wait for this update and then the update came out and I didn't even realize it until some of you informed me and then my game for some reason just it didn't update and it finally updated on its own now it, it finally just did it on its own and I decided to finally look again for the nightlight so if you haven't seen my previous video, I made a previous video all about the Dragon Fire Light update. I have both of them. I have the paid for one and I have the regular one and there's 29 dragons and they all are different elements and live in different biomes, blah blah blah. And I made a whole video on their location and what they like to eat and how to breed them, how to get them, what they look like, their scales, literally everything that I could think of at the time. How to build a hammer. There's that on that one too. So if you haven't watched that one, you can watch that one. And it'll show you how to find all these guys. But I couldn't confirm where the nightlight was until today. And I'm going to show you this beautiful clip of me finding it. Because I was like, <laughs> not emotional, but just in utter shock. So here's the clip of me finding it. Guys, I did it. I found one. I finally found one. I'm in just like a, an oak biome, but it, it has some like big mushrooms. And it's a dark oak biome, actually. I was just flying around on creative, and I, I actually found one. I actually got one to spawn. Oh my god. I finally did it. I can finally confirm where they're at. Oh my gosh. I was just like... I got so tired of walking around, so I just switched to creative, and I'm like, I'm just gonna fly to, like, every biome possible, and I was in so many different biomes, and I just was like, I'm just gonna fly, because, like, I just kept walking and walking on survival, and I just couldn't find anything. Oh, he's sleeping. And I finally, I finally did it. I just flew all over the place, like, spawn after spawn, and here he is. In a dark oak biome, right next to a mushroom, and he's beautiful. He's so beautiful. Oh, I can't believe I finally did it. It's just amazing. Here, do you want some? Oh, I tamed him while he was sleeping. Oh my goodness. Well, the mystery is solved. So, yeah, as you can see, that was me finding it, and I found it in a dark oak biome. So I can confirm, dark oak biome. It was a dark oak biome, it had some mushrooms, that is where I found it. I've heard of lush biomes and stuff, which is why when I built this little setup here, I put them in the lush. I tried lushes, I tried lushes, I tried the mushroom. Uh, some people were telling me meadows, I tried meadows, I tried spruce biome, I tried regular oak biome, I tried birch biomes, I tried all of that. Dark Oak Biome worked for me. And I also want to thank every single person who had commented on my previous video and was giving me advice and all that. It's awesome. I also heard that there is uh, part of the update. Some people are telling me that they're getting rare colored dragons. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't have any rare colored dragons and I'm going to look into that and make another video of it at some point. I definitely want to check it out. But one... Or a few things I want to bring up about the new update. First of all, now the nightlight spawns easier. Because obviously it did not spawn correctly. So the nightlight we can confirm is in the dark oak biome at least now. It does spawn a little easier. The night stalker scales seem to be fixed now too. Because the night stalker, the scales were not dropping. But I sheared this guy today and it actually worked and his scales dropped. So they fixed that for us too, which is great. I also noticed that the night stalker spawning in the dark oak biome too. So that was one of the reasons I looked around the dark oak biome, because I saw the Night Stalker, and I'm like, well, maybe the Night Light. But another cool thing I noticed while I was in here, oops, is they now have scale blocks. 
So how cool is that? So that's pretty neat too. So we actually have blocks, so I might end up redoing a whole lot of stuff in my little dragon sanctuary because now there's scale blocks and they're like really, really pretty, like really pretty. And I definitely want to build some things out of them because they're honestly adorable. So there's now scale blocks. I haven't noticed anything else new. Uh, if you guys notice anything else, let me know. But like I said, I did hear about the rare dragon colors. Uh, I don't really know how to do that. I think I'm going to maybe just spawn a whole bunch of eggs and hatch them and see if I can get a rare one to spawn. And if I get any information on that, I will let you guys know. But until then, this is just a short little video. I also want to remind everybody, because they're still stumped on the zombie, just a reminder, don't forget the zombie only spawns at night. Oh, and one more thing that I wanted to tell you guys as well is I also found the dragon fruit um, trader, because a lot of people were struggling with that. So now that the update has happened, dragon fruit trader finally spawns. And I found him in the meadow. Here's a quick little clip. I didn't have my mic on at the time. I just did a quick clip that I found him. Uh-huh. Huh? Huh. Honestly, he was really irritating me because when I saw him from above while I was flying around looking for this dude, his hat looks like a baby version of him. And I was like, oh my god, I found a baby! And then I'm like, oh, it's just him. And like at first I was excited when I found him. And then after a while, I kept finding him and I was irritated. So they're not rare anymore. So you can definitely find uh, a fruit trader, no problem. And obviously it's a little bit easier to find this guy. It was still a process, but definitely now possible so thank you guys so much for watching again thank you for all the comments and all the likes honestly that video did a lot better than i expected but when i google apparently i'm the only one who actually made a video like this so i am happy to help you guys because i was so lost when this first came out and as i was learning everything i didn't want anyone else to be lost so i wanted to help you guys and now you guys helped me so i really appreciate it Again, thanks for all the views on there. I did not expect it to get as big as it was. Go ahead and check it out. It's the Dragon Firelight, the first video. I'll put it in the description so you can go ahead and tap on that. So that way you can learn where all the other dragons are from. And like I said, if I figure out anything on these rare colored dragons, I'm going to make a video on that. So go ahead and stay tuned. And if you also wanted to see me building this in the full tour of my little dragon museum, go ahead and take a look at that too. That has its own video and its own short. Or just go ahead and look at my channel, because I'm always doing weird and random things. And also you can see why I've been busy and why I haven't always been on Minecraft, because I'm obsessed with Stardew Valley. So that's where I've also been. <laughs> so go ahead and check all that out. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the likes, comments, subscription support. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time it is. I hope it's freaking fantastic. And if it's your birthday, happy freaking birthday. And I will talk to you guys later.